made the stop block set up for the Meridian alarm saw. Used a half inch core box bit to route these channels in this oak. Stuck a little piece of rubber on there for a bumper so the head wouldn't be banging into it so hard. A 3 8 core box bit probably would have been better and fit the rails tighter. The idea behind the stock blocks is so if I can get a drill chuck to mount on the auxiliary shaft that doesn't have an excessive amount of run out I can use it for mortising and set the stop blocks to uh, make the mortise exactly the size I need I built a mortising table for the ready alarm saw so I can mount up the chuck use a spiral carbide bit and cut mortises it's just MDF with T-Track and a fence and I made it where I can just clamp it in place and slide it back and forth as I need for adjustment. I didn't see any point in making a video of the build process because if you can make a cross cut, uh, rip, and a dado, then obviously you can build the thing. Or yeah, you might need to know how to use a drill, but I'm going to test this out here in just a minute on the coffee table I'm building. Okay, I've got my mortising table set up to test the first cut. I actually got the idea for this watching David Marks use a multi-router. This is not going to be quite the versatile setup that a multi-router is, but it ought to be pretty good for cutting mortises. Gotta turn it on. Bad, not bad at all. On this saw, the switch is in perfect position for cross cutting because it can flip it on and off from a, one flick of the thumb. But when ripping, the switch is on the opposite side of the head so if there's a problem I have to reach all the way around the saw to cut it off so to keep from having to do that I added a safety switch and fixed it where it's adjustable 
I've got it on this side of the saw for the when ripping in the in rip position. I can slide it over to the other side for ripping in the out rip position. That way the switch is always easily accessible no matter where I'm standing. I mounted this switch with a piece of one inch square aluminum tube in the T-Track that came on my Bosch router table. This is an oddball T-Track and it didn't really work so I took it off the router table and replaced it with a more conventional T-Track. But it works perfect for my switch adjusting system. I put these garage door wheels on the back to give a little support so when I push the switch it doesn't flex too much. When I mounted this four foot MDF table on the radio alarm saw, it was sagging on each end just because of the flex of the MDF. But I wanted the table to be as wide as possible. So I added this support leveling system. Uh, this track is a piece of from Adrian Steel that was on one of my work vans when I bought it. I took it off because I didn't need it, but I saved it. I was able to cut it in half and use it. Put one piece on each side of the saw along with a couple pieces of conduit. And these bolts lock the brackets down. So I can move them in and out and adjust the height of the table however I want to get it perfectly level. Or I should say square with the with the blade. I just mounted it on the support bracket on the frame. Need this guard for planing with the radio alarm saw. I'm not going to take the blade off, but it mounts in these two holes that were from the factory for something packaging, maybe I don't know, but they're left open unused. So I made the holes. where it would mount up. If you watch my mantle clock video you'll see this in action. Got a little tube for dust collection. And it works pretty well. Keeps from blowing the sawdust everywhere and shooting chunks into my face.